Hi, this is Xavier from Army Recognition reporting from the shores of the Persian Gulf. We are in the UAE today to test drive IAG, International Armored Group's range of military vehicles. I am now joined by Paul, sales manager at IAG, who will give us a few details regarding the two vehicles here on display. Well, first, I'd really like to extend a, a great warm welcome here to the Army Recognition Team here to our factory here in Ras al Khaimah. Uh, this is one of our many global factories, but today what we're going to introduce you to is the latest line for 2014 of the APCs that we have, just a small selection. Now, right behind me here, you have the green APC. This is a JAWS APC. It's based on a Toyota Land Cruiser chassis. And in this particular guys, it's actually the 4.5 liter diesel. It's got fantastic torque. You know, one of the evolutions in the market over the last uh, two to three years is really there's been an awakening where people have to look at the engineering criteria whereas previously the power to weight ratios for military vehicles is in the range of 26 to 30 horsepower per ton now all of our vehicles in the latest guys are over 50 horsepower per ton so especially for the terrain the conditions that we're encountering over here and into the African countries as well too you, it's an absolute must and requirement but walking through this vehicle B6 is its basic configuration. We can actually take this also up to a three-shot configuration B7, true three-shot B7. Uh, this is a fantastic support vehicle. It's typically uh, for either border protection, uh, going into riot control protection for a support capacity. And oftentimes we've used this as well too for some embassies in the African countries where these are staged outside the front, uh, more for a, a deterrent and threat purposes. Uh, here you have a fully engineered solution. The entire original OEM uh, Toyota chassis uh, has had the entire suspension uh, removed as well as all the running gear. So we're not just bolting on off-the-shelf products, suspension and uh, uh, basic components. No, everything here has been tried and tested up to military grade standards. On top of that then we have a full uh, interior which is again from your basic seating arrangement up to your blast seating arrangements. For most of these vehicles, this is in a military perspective, but we also have this in a SWAT configuration as well too. We can have it with a retractable 360 degree turret as you see today, or we can have the fixed turret, or no turret at all if a SWAT wish, uh, with just a simple escape hatch. Um, but extremely capable, uh, both in automatic and also in uh, uh, manual configurations. But this has been really the mainstay of what we've done. This is now the fourth generation of this for us. So the next vehicle we have here today is the largest vehicle that we manufacture based on the chassis. Now, IAG has about 80 different vehicles on the civilian side and a further 15 to 20 different configurations for the military side. Uh, within the chassis compartments, this is the largest vehicle we manufacture. It's based on a globally supported, uh, commercially available chassis. You have a 6.7 liter turbo diesel engine. However, we've done special modifications to the engine to take it from a stock 300 horsepower to its current configuration here today, which is 400 horsepower. But if the requ uh, requirement comes in from the client, we can take this up to 550 horsepower. Now, in doing so, one of the things we mentioned earlier when we discussed the JAWS is this particular vehicle, the latest evolution, the military criteria is the old uh, uh, power to weight ratio of only 26 to 30 horsepower per ton, it's totally insufficient. With the latest generation, you need to be nimble and mobile. This particular vehicle has close to 50 horsepower per ton, again giving a significant uh, advantage over anything else that's available in the market. So not only have we upgraded the engines, but then we've gone through the whole entire transmission. So we've an upgraded transmission, we've totally rebuilt the entire drivetrain, but then when it comes to the complete suspension, as we'll show you in a second, it's a complete uh, uh, custom uh, build, uh, which you can't get anywhere else. So following around the side of the vehicle here, full five side protection. This particular configuration is B6. However, again, like the jewels, we can go up to full three shot B7, which is very, very important. Um, in this particular configuration, it's a 10 passenger compartment, but we can make it 12 if we require. We can have a longer chassis base. We have the full uh, military wheels, custom three piece wheels with the run flat inserts, as well as the heavy duty uh, custom military wheels. The suspension, this is another key component. The suspension on this particular vehicle is a very, very high grade. This has been fully tuned, uh, where we have both on and off-road capability, which is tunable from the driver, 
but also we have the gas nitrous shocks which actually keep the uh, longevity and the actual suspension performance so it isn't five or ten minutes before fatigues you can drive this all day long and you'll have the exact same performance as you did when you first got into the car at the beginning of the day again standard interior we have the military setup we have uh, the uh, blast seating uh, configuration if required we also have uh, for air filtration as well too if that's also a consideration from the end user so really anything that's requested can be fully customized and tailored into this particular vehicle to date as we said before this is the fourth uh, generation of this particular vehicle we have probably about 3,000 of these particular units which have been sold into the Middle East and African market and also we're a specialist in the US government uh, we're selling SWAT directly to the US government and also for border protection from our US factory in St. Augustine Florida so it's been one of the mainstays of the products but this is the the middling step in our APC lineup our next generation after that is the monocoque uh, with the full independent suspension